happy Clap you know. your hands. Come on, somebody. Yeah. If you know Jesus lives, say he lives. If you know Jesus lives, say he lives. If you know Jesus lives, if you know Jesus lives, if you know Jesus lives, say he lives. He lives. Hallelujah. You want to praise the Lord, say his name. If you want to praise the Lord, say his name. If you want to praise the Lord, if you want to praise the Lord, if you want to praise the Lord, say his name. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. 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 One more. If you know God is good, clap your hands. If you know God is good, clap your hands. If you know God is good, if you know God is good, if you know God is good, clap your hands. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. Yes, come on, let's just worship the Lord today. Hallelujah. Come on on Zoom. Hallelujah. Those of you in the virtual space, those of you in the actual space, let's praise the Lord up in here. Hallelujah. He's worthy of all the praise. He's worthy of all the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God has been good to us. God has been good to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, indeed. Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we give you praise, honor, and glory. Father God, I decrease that you might increase in me. Arise in me, oh God. Hallelujah. Take over. Hallelujah. This vessel, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Prepare our hearts and minds, Father God. Give us eyes that we may see. Give us ears that we may hear. Give us a heart that we might understand what you're saying in this hour. We thank you, Lord. We pray you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We lift up your name in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. You know, I am upside it. That's what Bishop used to say, right? Upside it. I'm going to wipe this microphone. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to spit all over the place. I'm just saying. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Greetings to the leader of this house, Pastor Prophet Samuel Elijah. Yeah. Blessings to you, sir. Amen. Praise the Lord. All you all on Zoom, our co-pastor, Pastor Arthur Harris. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Saints of God. Hallelujah. Ministers of the gospel. Ambassadors for Christ. Hallelujah. Is that you? Yeah. I'm going to wake up. Come on. Yeah. It's Sunday morning. Come on. Praise the Lord. We're in the house. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. God is good. Hallelujah. Come on and all the time. Come on. Glory. Yeah. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. All right. Praise the Lord. Just want to make sure we're in the right place. Hallelujah. Who needs some oil? Praise the Lord. Somebody need a touch. Who needs anointing? Come on now. Come on now. Praise the Amen. I knew somebody. Praise the Lord. Amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Who else is Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. 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 Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Have 
Those on Zoom, in the name of Jesus, spiritual anointing, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. For all those on Zoom, Mother Brown, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, and all those that are here today, in the name of Jesus, may the Spirit of the Lord, hallelujah, transition and transform through this airwave, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah.
Trish, I want you to just to stand up. And I, and I want you to, to, to do the, the act of like taking something off, like you're taking off your coat. Yeah. Just, just do the act yes. of just like, like yes, this. Yes, yes, like yes. This. Yes. Do it like this and just take it off, it. right? Hallelujah. Because yeah. you're carrying stuff that you don't need to carry. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Take it off. Hallelujah. Take it off. Take it off. It's not yours. Hallelujah. It's not yours. It's not yours. Please take yours off too. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Take it off. Don't pick it up. It's not yours. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says there's a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Yes. That's what you should be wearing. That's right. A garment of praise. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Say, I ain't walking heavy no more. That's right. Not walking heavy no more. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. I'm not taking what's not mine. Hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Release it in Jesus' name. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. Amen. Amen. Thank you for indulging me for that. I just have to obey what I felt in Jesus' name. God wants you free. 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 Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm excited to be before you today. Amen. We're going to continue with our series, New Wine. Hallelujah. All right. If you were here a few weeks ago, that was the last time we were in this building. Yes. Praise yes. the Lord. Yes. I ministered about the new wine. Praise yes. the Lord. Yes. And it has not left me. Praise the Lord. But God's got a series for that topic. Yes. Praise yes. the Lord. Yes. So I'm going to bring you installment number two. Jesus. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. All right, Pastor Harris, I need you to get me Matthew 9, 16 and 17. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sister Yojoma, I need you to get me Mark 2, 21 verses 22. Okay. Amen. Hallelujah. Brother Joshua, let's get Luke 5. 36 through 39. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. These three passages of scripture mm. that we're getting ready to, yes. to hear into our hearing are the same parable in three different gospels. Praise the Lord. And if the Lord takes the time to put something in three different gospels, he wants us to get it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. It's one thing just to get a word out of one book, praise the Lord, yes. but God's got three books with the same word, but with a little bit different Come variation on. of yeah. each, praise the Lord. Yeah. Come on, Pastor Harris, yeah. praise, praise the, the Lord. Lord. No man putteth a piece of new cloth yeah. to an old garment, uh -huh. for that which is put in to fill it up taketh from the garment. And the rent is made worse. Neither do men put new wine into old bottles, else the bottles break. Uh -huh. The wine runneth out, and the bottles perish. But they put new wine into new bottles, and both are preserved. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Come on, Sister Ejoma. Mark 2. Yes. yes. No man. <laughs> Else, the new piece that filled it up 
taken away from the old, and the rent is made worse. Mm. And no man yeah. put it new wine into old bottles. Else the new wine doth burst the bottles, and the wine is spilled, and the bottles will be marred. But new wine must be put into new bottles. Hallelujah. Thank you. Brother Joshua, wow. Luke 5, 36 through 39. Yes. also parables unto that. A new man put it the peace for the new garment upon the old. For if otherwise, then both the new maketh the rent, and the peace that was taken out of the new agreeeth not with the old. And no man put it new wine into old bottles, yes. because the new wine will burst the bottles in the spirit, mm -hmm. and the bottles shall perish. But new wine must be put into new bottles, and both are preserved. Oh, yeah. No oh, man Jesus. also having drunk old wine straight round his eyes. Amen. Thank you, sir. Amen. So this is the word of the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yes, there's something to this thing about new wine and new bottles. Well, old garments and new garments. Praise the Lord. But this particular scripture in Luke, that 39th verse, Brother Joshua read said, I'm going to read it again. No man also having drunk old wine straightway desireth the new. For he saith, the old is better. Well, let's work with that for a minute. Praise the Lord. It says, no man that drinketh the old wine desires the new. Saying that the old is better. And church, that particular scripture Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Is indicative of human nature mm -hmm. and our propensity to resist change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. He said, no man having drunk of the, the, the old desires the new. Yeah. Because yeah. he says the old is better. Praise the Lord. I want you to think about that for a minute. And I want you to think of what circumstances exist in your life that the old is better. And I'm not talking about age. I don't want nobody to get offended around age. I ain't talking about age. <laughs> Amen. Because yeah. we know we need the old mothers and the old fathers and the elders in our community, in our churches, yes, to is. give us that wisdom and guidance. So this ain't about yes. age here. Yes. Yes. We're talking about that old stuff. Yeah. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. So what are instances where we have this old mindset that is so strong and so just set that you can't receive nothing new? And you can put that in any category that you want. Oh, yeah. yeah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, there are some people who like vintage furniture. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Vintage furniture has particular characteristics, right? It might be handcrafted with oh. the finest of oak and then shellacked with that real type of shellacking, right? Yeah. And then it's heavy. Old furniture is heavy, yes. praise yes. the Lord. So I understand that people who prefer the old vintage furniture, yes. some old stuff is all right, right? Yes. Amen, yes. because yes. people said, Elder, I don't like Ikea furniture. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm just saying, praise. be broke, huh, praise. I'm just saying, it's a different quality. So there are some times when the old might be better. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. What about books? Yeah. Books. Yeah. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. Now some books, you just want to just hold and yeah. flip the pages and everything. And that's all good. Praise the Lord. But I remember when I used to carry multiple books, like when I used to travel earlier in my days before I got the revelation, 
that yes, yes. why am I taking yes. all these books on a trip? You got four books in your backpack, <laughs> right? Taking up space. Then you put some in your suitcase, taking up more space, making it heavy. I remember one time I got to the airport, my bag was 49.5 pounds. They give you a, a, a limit. You, when you hit 50, they like open it up, take some stuff out of there. Right. So I was at 49.5 pounds, and I guarantee you 10 of it was my books. <laughs> I'm just saying. So I had to get the revelation, get a Kindle, and then carry all the books you want in one device. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Also, the King James Bible, 1611, they called it the authorized version in England. King James the first yes. says this is the authorized version that is used because it had all of the most accurate translations at the time. Praise the Lord. 413 years later in 2024, there are over 100 translations of our Bible in English. Y'all got a whole bunch of them on your Bible app. There's over a hundred of them. But yet still, there are those who prefer the King James Version over all the rest. Praise the Lord. So there are certain instances where the old is better. But then there are other instances, like what Jesus is talking about right here, that where the old is not going to work for you anymore. Praise the Lord. Talk to somebody who's got a flip phone. Got a flip phone? Praise the Lord. Now you see somebody break out with a flip phone, you're like, what is up with them? Right? A flip phone. Now my mama got a flip phone. I tried to give her an iPhone. I got her. I, I, have, I couldn't even return it back to the at and I, I got an extra iPhone because she couldn't mess. Couldn't do it. I'm still paying for it. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. She said, give me that old phone back. <laughs> All right, mama. You take your flip phone back. Praise the Lord. But there are some instances where the old just won't do. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. Now, leading up to this truth, and I shared some of this last time I was here, and I'm just going to give you a quick refresher, then we're going to jump in. Praise the Lord. Jesus, in Luke 5, was doing a whole bunch of stuff because he wanted everybody to, to understand and to feel what new wine felt like. So he demonstrated long before he gave the parable. The first thing he did, he was there and he got the disciples, Simon, James, and Peter, were out on the water. They had been fishing all night long. They've been toiling all night, couldn't catch nothing. That's right. Jesus walked up. Y'all okay? Y'all good? Y'all good? No, Lord. We've been doing this all night long and we ain't caught nothing. Nothing. You know, that was pretty, pretty intense because. That meant they weren't going to eat for the next several days or weeks or whatever. They had to catch fish. Otherwise, they had no business. So Jesus had to tell him, wait a minute. He said, you know what? He says, go out again, but go to that side and lock into the deep. So Jesus gave them a demonstration of new positioning. Okay. New positioning. He demonstrated new wine. He said, yeah, your new wine is in your new position. The position that you're in is not the position that you're going to prosper in. Well, so I need you to go a little bit to the left. Take three steps back and then launch deeper. Yeah. New position. Well, yeah. And then you know what happened after that. They got a whole net full of fish that they filled up the first boat, filled up the second boat, and both of them began to wow. sink. Right. New wine. Yeah. New position. Right. Praise the Lord. Amen. Jesus was demonstrating that he wants us to understand what new wine looks like. Come on, come on. Praise the Lord. So that you don't get caught up in the old. Oh, yeah. And with them brothers, they had to understand that sometimes we just got to change position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're in the vicinity, but not the right position. Come on. So you need to be in the vicinity and in the position. Praise the Lord. The next thing he did, there was a brother that had, the Bible said he was full of leprosy. Full. He had leprosy all over his body, and he was bold. He's like, Lord, 
He said, uh, if you will, you can make me clean. He didn't even ask the Lord. He made a statement. Yeah, all right. He didn't ask what the question. He said, if you will, uh -huh. thou can make me clean. You know what Jesus right. said? He said, I will. That's right. Right? That's right. Be thou clean. That's it. Praise the Lord. So that was a demonstration of new faith. Yeah. That man was not going to question whether or not Jesus could heal him. He knew Jesus could do it. He said, you can do it yeah. if you want to. That's right. That's right. He That's was right. giving deference to the Lord said, well, it might not be your will. You might want me to have this condition for a while longer, and I can understand that. I don't like it, but I can understand it. Yeah. But he said, if you will, you can make me clean. Right. Jesus was like, oh, I like that kind of faith. Yeah, I like that kind of faith. I will be thou clean. So that new wine was new faith. Praise the Lord. Then there was another brother that was paralyzed and he couldn't walk. He couldn't do anything. And so the other four brothers had to get him up on the roof because they couldn't even get him through the front door. Come on. Take him through the roof. Let him down. Hallelujah. And you know what? You know what this new wine is? New determination. Wow. How yes, many of you yes, have a new determination? You've been trying to go in this area or do this thing for a while, but you're like, wait, I keep getting blocked. I keep getting stopped. I have to keep doing this and doing that over yeah. and over. So then brothers got determined and said, we, if we ain't got no way in, we're going to make our way in. They tore up the roof and let the man down. Yeah, yeah. New determination. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Then Jesus called Levi a tax collector mm -hmm. and said, follow me. He just looked at him and said, no, just come on. And you're done with all that. Come follow me. Praise the Lord. And what happened here was the scribes and the Pharisees had the nerve to get mad at Jesus. Like, what? You are hanging out with publicans and sinners. You're Jesus. You're holy. You're too holy for that. And Jesus said, no, nah, no, nah, you all got it twisted. I, I, I am here to save the lost. So this new wine is new compassion for the unsaved. How many of you have a compassion for those who have not yet committed themselves to the Lord? Yeah. And that's what he was demonstrating. He was demonstrating all this. This is all in Luke chapter 5. Just start from the first verse. You see all these, these instances all the way down to verse 32. I just gave you all instances of what Jesus did before he gave the parable of the new wine and the new bottles. Yes. Praise the Lord. But let's get back to this brother that's like he drunk of the old wine and don't even desire the new. What's it like? If God is trying to get you something new, and just because it's unfamiliar, just because you haven't experienced it before, just because you don't quite understand it, the response is, I don't want it. Yeah. Church, the message today, and that's why I said you, Deacon Stevenson, you touched on the old today in your message. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yes, Lord. And here is the truth of the matter. You said that God is trying to get you the new stuff because that's what he intended for you in the first place. And sometimes the old that we have is not the old that God gave you. It's the old we picked up. Praise the Lord. Yeah. So God is saying, Get off that old stuff. Yeah. Let it go. Uh -huh. yes. Hallelujah. There's a new way. So we saw new positioning. Where can you reposition yourself? There's new faith. Where can you have greater faith? Mm -hmm. Then new determination. Where can you be more committed Come on. to get to the finish line or to get something started or to pick up something that you put down? Praise the Lord. Or what about new compassion for the unsaved? Right. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So here is 
the title, if there was a title to this message, it is Let Change Happen. Saints, let change happen in your lives. Let it happen. He said, well, Elder, I don't know about all this. I ain't never been this way before. It's all right. Don't you know that God's destiny for you and God's method of getting you there and God's experience for you is much better than you could ever dream up or come up with or on your own. Praise the Lord. God's outcome is always the best outcome. Praise the Lord. Bar none. There is no mistakes in that. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. What if the only thing standing between you and success was your tendency to keep a hold of the old? What if that was the only thing standing between you and your prosperity or your breakthrough or your deliverance? Mm -hmm. Sometimes our step forward means that we got to release the grip on the past. Yes, indeed. Rear view mirrors are for cars only. Yeah. There's no other apparatus that has a rear view mirror like that. Yes, yes. yes. Trains don't. Planes don't. Boats, maybe. Cars, yes. Rear view mirrors aren't for Christians who are trying to get to their purpose and destiny in life. You are not relegated to the enemy's tendency yeah. to cause you to keep looking behind. Oh, come on. Now, Lot's wife apparently had something going in her head that was taking over her thoughts. Because the Lord told her, they said, look, y'all get going mm -hmm. and don't even look back because this, that's going to have some consequences. And he, you know, she paid the price ultimately. Y'all yes, yes. know what happened. She turned into a pillar of salt. Come on, come on. Because she looked back. Right. Saints of God, this is 2024. You don't need to look back right. at yesterday for not, nothing. Not, the, not that old negative stuff. That's right. Not that stuff that kept you bound. Not the people that kept you bound. Uh -huh. Not the situations that kept you bound. Well, God wants us free. No looking back. Let change happen. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to think about right now if you stop investing your energy on the old stuff. Yes, well, why did they say that? Well, why did I go through that? Well, uh -huh, why? Uh -huh, uh -huh. All things are working together for the good for them who love the Lord, who are the called according to his purpose. All things are working. You know what? Here's the mindset. The mindset is, okay, I did that, I went through that, I experienced that, so it must be working for my good, so I'm gonna leave it there. That's right. Yes, God. Can you just leave it there? That's right. Leave it there and keep going. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. How many of you are ready to release the old stuff? Yes. Come on, you gotta release the old stuff. You're ready to release In everything old. Jesus. Old mindsets, uh -huh. old relationships, uh -huh. old circumstances, uh -huh. old, 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 let change happen. Praise the Lord. Now, here's another scripture I shared last time, but I'm going to share it again because this is so profound. Isaiah 65 and 8. Isaiah 65 and 8 says this. It says, thus saith the Lord. If you need interpretation of that, I mean God's saying this to you. He said, as the new wine is found in the cluster, and one saith, destroy it not, for a blessing is in it. What? The new wine is in the cluster. 
Destroy it not, for a blessing is in it. That's Isaiah 65 and 8. Church, there are clusters that are yours, that are in front of you. Clusters. Clusters with your new wine. Clusters with your new wine in front of you. You will discover your new wine. But the Lord is saying, don't destroy it. You better have a container ready for it. That is our responsibility to get the new bottle of the new right. wine skin. That's what God is saying. Yeah. That you have to prepare yourself and do whatever you have to do so that you can contain the next level of execution and implementation that he's mm -hmm. taking you to. There is another level that goes beyond your comprehension. Mm -hmm. There is another level that causes you to max out in who God created you to be. You see, you're not going to always fly underneath your potential. Praise the Lord. Matter of fact, flying underneath your potential is not even godly. Praise the Lord. Come on. Hallelujah. Matter of fact, God expects you, expects us yes. to fly at the maximum capacity yes. that he's given us. Because yes. when we get done, you don't want to leave nothing here. Yes. Praise the Lord. You want to lay it all out. Yes. In sports, they say, leave it all on the court. Or leave it all on the field. Uh -huh. In other words, put your best effort in, praise the Lord, and trust that it's going to work. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Don't give up just because stuff gets a little difficult or it doesn't make sense or you don't understand. Just keep going. Old bottles cannot handle the new. It's never intended. Old is intended for the old. It's not intended for the new. New needs new. I need you to get that. New needs new. Yes. Yes. So if I'm going to walk into a new level of execution in my career, then I got to become new. If I'm going to walk in a new level of execution in my relationships, then I got to become new. Yes. New receives new. That's right. New, new. Yes. New, new. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. First Corinthians breaks this down, and this is not obvious at the first glance of the scripture, but it certainly does apply when you let the Holy Ghost give you the revelation. It's First Corinthians. We read it every Sunday when we do our love scripture. We read it every Sunday, and I'm thinking, wow, Lord, he shared it. He said, you all do this all the time. You speak this, and you've been doing it for how many years have we been doing First Corinthians 13? How many years have it been? 10? Long time. So God's been telling us to have new wine ever since then. We didn't recognize it. Now you're going to see it. When I was a child, I spoke. I understood and thought like a child. That's 1 Corinthians 13 and 11. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. So what happened between speaking, understanding, and thinking like a child at some point, that person became a man and said, I can't think like that no more. I can't understand like that no more. I can't operate like that no more because I am a man now. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. So when I became a man, I became new. When I became a woman, when I became an elder, when I became a pastor, when I became a deacon, when I became a deaconess, when I became an evangelist, when I became a Sunday school teacher, when I became a model, when I became a business owner, hallelujah, when I became an IT professional, hallelujah, when I became a health coach, when I became a scrum master, When I became a father, when I became a mother, when I became an influencer, when I became an athlete or a singer, hallelujah, when I became a man, I put away childish things. What do you need to put away to step fully into whatever you have become? Michelle Obama yeah. 
has a book out called Becoming. Because she understood the scriptural application and the spiritual relevancy yeah, of yeah. having a transition from what was into what is, praise the Lord. And that's where we have to understand. We have to operate into now what is, not what was, praise the Lord. Because what was the old man, even when you come into salvation, the Bible tells put away the old man. Uh -huh. Praise the old man. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. got to go. Yes, yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. What are those things? Old habits, old way of thinking, old stuff. Come on. Uh -huh. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Somebody give me Romans 12 and 2 and declare it with full authority and fervency. Romans 12 and 2. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody got it. Let's read it out loud. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. And be not conformed yes. to this world. What? And be not conformed yes, sir. to this world. Thank you, Jesus. But be ye transformed yes, sir. by the renewing ah. of your mind. Yes. Yeah. That you may prove Come on. what is that good, good. and acceptable Simple. and perfect, perfect will of God. Yes. Yes. Be renewed. No. 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 That's what it is. Renew. Be not conformed to the old stuff. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Mind six inches between both ears, praise the Lord. That six inches needs yes. to be the yes. most yes, Lord. mindful six inches that you can deal with. Lord. Your mindset. Uh -huh. Speak yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Are we up for the renewing of the minds? Amen. Praise the Lord. Let change happen. Come on. Do you know that? scientifically that we only use maybe an eighth of our brain power we don't spend the time expanding our brain capacity because we're not taught to in our society praise the lord but if you were to take on upon yourself to begin to allow your brain to be expanded by your pursuit of information and knowledge. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, you can do this with the Bible. You can yeah. take every book of the Bible and you can write your own commentary. Praise the Lord. Try that sometimes. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Go through the scriptures and let God give you, let God expand your mind, mm -hmm. your mindset, and your thinking about what he's saying in the word. Wow. And watch your life change because yeah. now yeah. you're seeing things through what God is telling you what that means. Praise yeah. the Lord. Yeah. Now it's okay to read Matthew, Henry, and some of the other commentaries that are out there. They're great. But guess what? God wants to give you a commentary. Right. Praise the Lord. God wants to give you a message. So that next time you're on a platform, you can go ahead and give it up. And you can say, and let that rivers of living water flow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Praise yeah, the Lord. Yeah. Do you think God is done raising up ministers? Come on. Do you think God is done raising up prophets and evangelists? Well, Do you think he's done raising up pastors and teachers? No. God is progressive. Because he needs your voice in this time. Come on. Yes. Just like Esther was created for such a time as mm -hmm. this. Praise the Lord. So you were developed and created and blessed for such a time as right. this in 2024. Go so ahead. that you can go and you can max out for God. You can completely max out. Yes. Hallelujah and reach your potential for the kingdom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isaiah 43 and 19 says, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Yeah. Otherwise, God is saying, when you think you're lost, I'll show you the way. If you think you're without resources, I'll make them show up. Come on. Praise the Lord. That's what that scripture is saying. Thank you, Jesus. He says, I will do a new thing. God wants to do a new thing. 
When's the last time you got something new from God? When? Come on. Yes. Anybody else? When's the last time you got something new from God? Yes, new breath. What else? He says, come here. New inspiration, yes. Hallelujah. He said his mercies are renewed daily. 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 By day. So this morning, before we came into consciousness, yes, Lord. you had new mercy waiting yes, for you to come into consciousness. Yes. Today, God is new. Yes. That's it. New revelation. Praise yes. the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. We're going to stop hanging out to the old. <laughs> we got to stop hanging out to the old. Praise yes. the Lord. I'm feeling all right today, you know. So I said, let change happen. Let change happen. Hallelujah. Another scripture, 2 Corinthians 5 and 17 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. So church, this installment of this series is all about us understanding that there's a newness that's waiting you. There's a newness. You're not picking up the same, you're picking up the new. There's a new level of you. You know, the world talks about we emerging as our best selves. Yes. Amen. And that in and of itself is a good thing. I'm going to say, emerge as your new self. Yes. Yes. Emerge as your new self. Praise the Lord. Yes. Mm -hmm. But that means you have to get serious about making sure that your containment is not the old wineskin. That's right. Yeah. But it's now the new wineskin or the new bottle so that you can contain everything that God is bringing yes. in, into your lives. Praise the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Can you receive the new? Can you receive the newness? We cannot go forward in the current status quo. We have got to let change happen. Let it happen, praise the Lord. Let the change happen. Yeah. Let the transformation go ahead, go ahead, happen. Go ahead. Let the learning yeah. happen. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, indeed. Let the growth happen. Yeah. Yes. Let the new revelations happen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because the enemy loves to play in the old. <laughs> He went to heaven, stood before God with, uh -huh. the, with all the sons of God, yeah. all the angels, and he said, yeah, the guy Job down there, uh -huh. he's just doing that because you've got a little hedge of protection around him. Release him. The curse you to the face. Uh -huh. Now, the devil got the audacity to go and say that to God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, he said that about Job. The Bible says that Job was an upright man uh -huh. and all the earth. Wasn't, right. He didn't have no guile, sin, or transgression, nothing in him. And he's being accused Come on, before the ground. So what do you think he's saying about us? Come on. Yeah. Come on. He up there reading the whole sheet. <laughs> uh -huh. Lord, did you see that? <laughs> Thank God for the blood of Jesus. <laughs> But you know he's up there doing it. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Yeah. And as long as we waddle in the all, yeah. he's gonna have a case. Uh-huh. Yeah. Until we apply the blood of Jesus yeah. to our situation and say, Lord, make me clean. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, make me new, Lord Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Renew my yeah. mind. Renew my thoughts. Yeah. Renew my attitude. Yeah. Renew my actions, oh God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 
Let your word hide in my heart that I might not sin against you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's the way you shut the devil up. That's right. That's but you got to be willing to take on the new and release the old. That's all he got. That's all the devil got is old stuff. That's it. That's it. He got old stuff. He can't accuse you of something new. Because he'd be lying. He's already, he is the father of lies. But my, my point is, is that that's the only thing he got. God already knows he's lying. That's right. That's right. But don't let him take the truth up there. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. I'm just saying. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't give the devil no ammunition. Oh, Get out the old. Praise the Lord. Get out of the old. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Y'all in tune. Get out of the old. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all in the sanctuary, get out of the old. Hallelujah. Amen. My Aunt Marge, amen. She's still living. Her and my mother are the last two. So I'm not sure if you know my Aunt Marge. Praise the Lord. She taught me years ago that I found out was a very famous phrase. Let go and let God. Amen. I was I was like eight years old. She said, Daddy, let go and let God. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. what does that mean? <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know what it meant. Mom, what's she talking about? <laughs> let go and let God, son. Let go and let God. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let go and let God. It, it took me like 30 years to get that. Seriously. <laughs> let go and let God. God. Amen. So, amen. So, I'm standing here to tell you. I finally let go. <laughs> Come on, let God. Amen. Didn't go without a fight, though. Praise the Lord. Because I was holding on to the old. That's it. Thinking that the old was the way. Praise the Lord. No. Any way that does not include God is not the way. Come on. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Embrace the new. Embrace the new. Embrace the new. I know it's a challenge because some of you are thinking that. Wow, I've been doing this for a minute now, but I'm still not quite there. The elders talking about letting go of the old, but that's all I know. I don't know how to do the new. Come on. You ever thought about that? Your next level of execution, you don't know how to do that. But you got to have the faith that what God does mm -hmm. is as you take your step towards the new, in the new, that yeah. God will give you the instructions as you go. That's, right. Praise That's, the Lord. Right. That's where faith comes in. That's where you got to say, okay, Lord, thank you. We walk by faith and not by sight. Yeah. Praise the yeah. Lord. That's what that means. That you start walking in the direction of your destiny and in the newness and believing that God's going to give you what you need as you walk. Yes. Don't be waiting for the whole book right now. Praise the Because he might not give you the whole book at the Come same on. time. God wants you to take it step by step by step because he don't want you to get beyond today. Yes. Right. Take no thought for tomorrow. That's right. He said, do it day by day. If you do it day by day, it's easier. Now, that doesn't mean don't plan. Because he says, teach us to number our days so that our hearts can be filled with wisdom. That means plan. Thank be a planner. Be a planner. You cannot walk this walk without Thank planning. So plan, but make sure you execute one day at a time. You can't execute a month at a time because you don't know the other 29, 30 days oh, that's in front of you. You just know what today is. You plan, but then you execute one day at a time. That is the secret to the formula of being successful. It's one day at a time. So if you can master being successful in today, today will turn into weeks. The weeks will turn into months. Months will turn into years. Years will turn into decades. And decades turn into a lifetime by just taking it one day at a time, letting change happen. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's it. That is your word for today. Amen. Say, Lord, I'm going to let change happen. 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 I'm going to let change happen in me. Hallelujah. And in that change, you're actually creating the wine skin or the bottle that's going to contain the wine that God's going to give you. As you allow yourself every single day to allow the newness to take over and to change your mind, to change your thoughts, to change your outlook, your perspective, change everything. 
then you will begin to metamorphosis and you will find yourself in a place of newness. And you may not even recognize yourself at first. Praise the Lord. But who wants prayer for newness? Yeah. Prayer for the newness. Prayer for the newness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You know, I had no idea how 2024 was going to unfold. But the first quarter of 2024, I did nothing. Talking about me, I did absolutely nothing until I flew to Washington, D.C. in March. Before that time, y'all know what we were dealing with. But when I got to D.C., I was walking on G Street in downtown in the District of Columbia. I remembered the prophecy that Bishop gave me. In that moment, after coming off 73 days of doing nothing, Found myself walking on G Street, took a picture. I made a video of myself crying, reminiscing. And God told me in that instance that this is the new thing. And I had to accept the new thing. And that moment was memorialized. in my spirit because that moment could have happened sooner had I accepted the end. I could have moved to DC in 2019. Everything was on the table. Everything offer the scenario 2019 but certain particulars in my life weren't ready for the new so i said no thank god that his prophetic utterance for your destiny is not contingent upon your agreement. Yes. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Ask Jonah. Uh, yes. It's not contingent upon your agreement. If God wants you to do something, He's going to make sure that you do it. Now, you might delay it a bit. Come on. We ain't getting caught up in no fishes, right? Yeah, come on. So here's what happened it took five years. For me to get to the point to where now I understood what the newness was. Because I remember having a specific conversation with, with Pastor Hackett, Mother Hackett, Mother Joyce Hackett, about this whole thing. I said, Elder, you gotta do what God says do. Let everything else fall in place. But mom. Dot dot dot. <laughs> right? How many of you had a but mom dot 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 moment? Yeah, yes. Yeah. I'm like this to the old. Mm -hmm. I don't know DC. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. March 2024, G Street. And you know, God is so funny. There was a bakery on the corner of 7th and G Street, and the baker's name was Devin and Blakely. Wow. <laughs> wow. On the corner. Yes. So of course I go in there like, okay, God, you got jokes. <laughs> and I have the 
brochure of the bakery at home yeah. in my home office. I look at it every day yeah. as a me memento of that week yes. that I finally understood what the new was about. Thank you. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I'm just giving you my own testimony of walking in the new. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you all for allowing me to share this with you today, but because God wants every one of us to have your new moment. Yeah. God wants you to have that experience where you look around and you look at yourself and you say, oh, wow, this is different. Wow, this is me. Wow, this is God. Wow, this is new. Yeah. God yeah. wants every one of us to have yeah. that moment, including this ministry needs a new moment. Praise the Lord. Yeah. The yeah. ministry needs to understand what the newness is yeah, right. in this season and embrace it and then have the wineskins develop to receive it and paint it so that the ministry can be what it's supposed to be in God. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. But I'm excited, everyone, yeah. that we are now a ministry of new people. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yes, God. New wine. Hallelujah. Requires new wine skin. That's right. Yeah. The final thing I'll say before I relinquish my seat my is this be flexible. God doesn't always give us things that fit what we think yeah. how we should be doing stuff. Yeah. So true. Yeah. Because we have been so accustomed to limiting our own selves because we see things through our own perspective and not from his perspective. Right. God's perspective is that you could run the 100 meter dash in 10.1 seconds. Now, if you only did 12.2, that doesn't mean you can't get to 10.1, but you, your mindset is stuck at 12.2. God said, I've given you the ability to go 10.1. Well, you just got to work out. Praise the Lord. So where in your life do you need to work out more so that your capacity equals the potential that God has given you? Your capacity has to equal the potential that God has given you because someone said it earlier, limitless. Thank you. That was a great word. Limitless. Because God is limitless and so are we. Praise the Lord. So are we. Limitless. Praise the Lord. Amen. So those of you who want prayer for the new, just stand up. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. And I'm going to pray a prayer of letting change happen Yes. for each and every one of us. Let change happen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, you yes. know everybody in this room intimately. Yes. Father God, you Jesus. know our going out, our coming in. You yes. know what we need, what we have. You know everything yes. about us, Lord Jesus. Help us to get the revelation of who yes. we are. Help us, Father God, to not to cling on to old ideas and old things, Father God, that has hindered us for so long, but allow us, Lord, to understand, embrace, and receive the new that you've given us. Father God, we're asking you in the name of Jesus to meet each and every person here at the point of their need and help them to see how they are to come into their newness, to embrace the new and not desire the old thinking that the old way is better. Father God, the only way that's best for us is your way. Yes, sir. Order our steps, oh God, in yes, the name yes, of Jesus. Yes. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for this new revelation. Give us an understanding heart, yes, Father God, that we may see how to go about those things. Teach us, Father God, as we study, as we write, as we meditate, as we contemplate the things that you have of us. Give us yes. what is needful, Father God, that we can move forward in Jesus' name, to please you yes. and to be on the path of the newness for the new wine that you have already ordained for us to have. We thank you and we praise you for everybody in the sanctuary. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 God bless you, church. Amen. God bless you. You got new wine coming. But you got to let the change Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. We're turning back over our pastor. Amen.
Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Deacon, will you come up with me and help me? We're going to pray over Elder. Thank you, Father God. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this man. We thank you for your vessel, God, and using them today, Father God, to deliver the message, Father God. Father God, it's fell on good soil, Father God. And it shall multiply. We thank you, Lord Jesus, hallelujah, for everything that you have done for my life. Now increase this coast, God. Increase this territory, God. Keep it from danger or harm, Father God. For well, that's a word like that, Father God, that has fell on good soil, Father God. Now continue to strengthen them. Continue to guide them. Continue to strive with them, Father God, like only you can. Like never before, Father God. Continue to replenish them. Like only you can, Father God, with the newness, Father God, that is set up for them. Father God, we give you thanks and we give you praise. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Goodness, thank that you, was Jesus. a word. Yes, it was. That was a word. That was a word. Yeah. Yeah. See, that word is only effective Come on. if you receive it. That's right. Because yeah. 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 just to hear it, not going to do you no good unless That's you right. accept it and walk right. in it. Right. Yes. We have to believe in the word of God. That's right. That he is able. Yeah. To allow change to come into our lives. To let change happen. You know, as Elder was speaking, a thought came into my mind that most of us can probably relate to. How many of you have old stuff in your home? Come on, come on. That you've been holding on yeah. to. Uh -huh. Go ahead. You know you need to get rid of it. Yeah. Yeah. But you just haven't taken the move yet. <laughs> but yet you're steadily going out. Uh -huh. Buying yeah. new yeah. stuff. Yeah. Got nowhere to put it. Yeah. Because of the old stuff. Right. God is telling us we need to clean house. Yeah. Get rid of the old. Come on, Make God. way for the new. That's right. You know when. The Lord gave this scripture he was referencing the church holding on to the old all they knew was moses and the old testament jesus said i'm here i am the new way the new testament and the only way that you can go forward yeah. is you got to let go of the old yeah. and accept the new. Yes. We got to go forward. That's right. Yes. In Christ Jesus. We, we all have goals. Mm -hmm. We all have things that we want to do and accomplish. Yes. But sometimes we are our biggest mm -hmm. obstacle. Uh -huh. Because Elder talked about sometimes we just need to reposition ourselves, yeah, right. a yeah. new position. That's right. Sometimes we need to have a new perspective yeah. Yeah. on what things look like. Yes, indeed. Sometimes we just need to have new faith in Christ Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We need to have a new determination yes. that we're not going to allow the enemy to overcome us. Uh -huh. We need to have new compassion for one another. That's it. Because see, we have to understand that not everybody is on your level. That's right. You got to have compassion for them to help bring them up. Come on, come on. 
that they can have a newness about themselves. But he said, we got to let go of the old. You know what the definition of insanity is? It's doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting a different outcome. Come on. It ain't going to work that way. That's right. God is new every day. There's nothing old about him. And if he is new, we are new creatures in him. Amen. Elder said that God's outcome is always the best for you and for me. Sometimes you know what holds us up? It's because we're trying to figure out God. We want to know all the details. And sometimes God is withholding on the details. He said, you just need to know this much. And trust me with the rest of it. Elder also said that, you know, you can't win if you're always looking back. You know, the Olympics was just not that long ago, and I watched quite a bit of the races. That was my interest. But most of the participants that were winners, they were not looking back. They were not looking over their shoulder. Because if you look back, while you're looking back, somebody's going to pass you up. God says, look forward. Let go of the old. Accept the new. Because see, he wants us to progress, not regress. And we can only do that if we keep our eyes fixated on him. That's right. So, Elder, I thank you yes, for breaking the bread of life this morning. Yes. I thank you because we all need a mind reset. Yes. Now, the Bible says lean not to your own understanding. That's right. That's right. We need to trust God. Yes. We're not going to always know all the details. Yes. We just need to know that God is God and he never fails. If he's leading you, you won't go wrong if you listen. Yeah, sir. Yeah. So I thank God for who he is. But I want to give our pastor an opportunity if he wants to share a thought before we close out for today. It's been a powerful service, a powerful word. Yes. One that I'm praise the Lord. Go right ahead, Pastor. Praise the Lord. God bless you today. That was awesome. And on time. God is great. And greatly to be praised. I thank you for being the vessel this morning. I thank you for the allowing the Spirit of God to direct you to anoint the people of God. Amen. Everything from start to finish was of God this morning, Elder. And I thank you again for letting him use you. You know, and allowing change to happen. That's what that I mean. You just have to let it happen and then feed it, feed the change. You know, it's a great series because everything new is of God. If we allow him the space, God bless you this morning. Awesome word. God bless you. Greater light. Please take it. You want it. Put it in your purse. Take it, cut it like Bishop used to say. Take a knife out and cut a piece with you and take some of that annoying home with us as we. We'll on Zoom too because it was transferable and God is great. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 Put Amen. away the old and let all things become new. Hallelujah. Oh man, we could go on the, all day on that, but yeah, yeah. come just, on now. <laughs> I thank God for you. God bless you. God bless God you. Bless God you. bless you. All right. All right. All right. You know, Pastor hit on something. You know, sometimes when you have a really good moment. Or like yesterday, we had a good barbecue, and you get full, and then later on that evening, you will go back for a little bit more. It was so good, you just want a little snack or a midnight snack, as they call it. Sometimes it might be more than once or twice. <laughs> or twice. 
because it was just that good. But so is the word of God. That's if right. you listen to it, go back, listen to it, cut off a little piece, chew on that for a minute, let God do what only God can do. That's right. Right? Because we're going to progress in God and not regress. That's it. In the name of Jesus, because God is so good is. to each and every one of us. You know, it has been a powerful, powerful service, but I would be remiss if I didn't take the time. Uh, we want to pray for Sister Julie, and I'll ask the ladies to come up, and we just want to. Yeah. Give God a moment. Amen. Yes, he has blessed her to, to come all this way. And it has been such a joy and a pleasure yes, to indeed. have her here. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, ladies. Praise the Lord. Amen. She is in the house. I'm going to ask Sister Patty because she's a praying woman. Amen. <laughs> over Sister Julie. Go ahead. Amen. Go ahead. Come on now, praise the Lord. Go ahead, sisters. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 Amen. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. 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 work is not finished. Yes. 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 Y
Yes. And, and I yes, just want to thank you yes, for being there. Amen. Yes, God. Jesus. Yes. Love you guys. Love you so much. Amen. It's been such a powerful service on today. Not really close such a service out with the word that we have heard. Yes. But if you'll stand with me, we'll have a word of prayer. Yes. We're going to walk into this new change. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father God, we just. First and foremost, we just want to thank you for who you are. Yes, Lord. Yes. Thank you for your many mercies that renew every day. Yes, God. And as these mercies are renewed towards us, you're renewing us. Yes. We pray, Lord Jesus, that you will continue to bless this ministry. Bless the family of greater life. Continue to lead us, guide us, direct us in every area of life, I pray. Father God, I pray, bless the words that we have heard on today. Let them fall on good ground, yes, God. fertile ground. Yes, Lord. I pray that you will touch the hearts and minds of the people. Yes. Give them a greater desire to search out the newness that is found in you. I pray in the name of Jesus, as we prepare to leave this place, pray that you will never leave us, but you will always dwell with each and every one of us, Father God. Take us from this place, but never from your presence. Bring us back again at the appointed hour in fellowship that we might come together in worship of you. Now I ask, go with each and every one of us. Take us safely to wherever it is we were going. We give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. And we thank you for the use of your servants on today. Bless them. Build a hedge of protection around them. We thank you for it all. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.